In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful heart envelope. It's really simple to make, but it, you have a lot of creativity in what you do with it after you make it, depending upon how much you want to embellish it, what you want to put inside it. Anyways, it's a great envelope, it's uh, very easy to make, and it, uh, it you can make it from a sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper. And the paper that I'm going to use for this demonstration is a really nice velour paper. It's got a nice fuzzy surface on one side and then kind of a, it's just a standard backing paper on the other. You can uh, get your own velour paper at um, the website I get it from is kidscraftsplus.com. Your local art store might sell it. Uh, they use it for um, charcoals or pastels. Anyways, it's a great paper. Uh, the, the nice fuzzy finish makes makes it uh, have a little extra edge of class to it. Anyways, uh, so to get started, again, this is a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I'm going to use um, a ruler and pencil just so that uh, we don't have uh, the extra folds for construction, but if you wanted to do it pure origami style, you could find the landmarks just folding it, but that's really not the purpose of this tutorial. So we're going to start with the side that we want inside the envelope uh, down and what we're gonna the first thing we're gonna do is just fold it in half doesn't matter which side is up when you do this for the most part this is just a guide fold but it doesn't show up on the front of the model when you're done folding it so go ahead and just fold it if you really wanted to you could also uh, measure that out and draw it, but no really point in doing that. Okay, now that we've done that, what we need to do is since uh, the paper is eight and a half, we want to mark out the, the square of that on the bottom, which is eight and a half. So on this, we mark out eight and a half right along this edge, and I will mark all the side on the sides as well you may not need to do that but I like to do that just so I can line things up after I make the marks I always like to go back and check them again and make sure that I indeed did make the mark at eight and a half and not eight and a quarter or nine or it's always good to double check these measurements before you start folding. So they look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the top edge and we're going to fold it down to the mark that we made at the eight and a half. Again, right now we, we have the side that we want inside up. So go ahead and fold the paper in half. And the reason why, again, the way I made the marks on the side is this really helps me make sure that I'm making this fold as straight as possible. I go ahead and open that up, and now I'm going to fold this to that crease that I just made. Like that. And I'm going to turn the paper over and I'm going to fold this edge to the center line uh, in what is informally known as the airplane fold. So uh, this edge will fold to and along the center line and you'll do the same thing on the other side. And what I'd like to do is before I set this crease, I go ahead and I pull this over so I can really make sure that the flaps meet in the middle and that it's straight and once I see that that's done I go ahead and carefully set these folds okay now that I've done that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this point and I'm gonna fold it down to the mark that I made at the eight and a half distance from the top. 
and when we do that we're not going to put a hard crease here so this is a slightly tricky thing it's not that difficult but so as we fold it we're not going to fold hard across here you can fold hard across this part right here and this part right here because that won't be part of the heart design. Okay, now that we have though just this part, this part here and this part here creased, we can turn it over and we're going to open up this flap. And we can go ahead and set the inside of the flap. We can go ahead and set this crease. And we're going to squash this aligning this center crease with this edge right here as we push that down and we set those creases. We do the same thing on this side where we take this flap here and we want to pull it against this edge here as much as possible. So we pull it down and we set this crease on the inside expanding this out and then squashing this down so that this crease here lines up along this edge here. Fold that down. And we set that crease. And then while we're here, we're going to take, and you can see this, I actually, uh, this crease does not line up with this exactly. I can go ahead and adjust that. If it doesn't line up exactly, it's really not disastrous you'll you'll survive things will be okay and now we're gonna take this corner we're gonna fold this edge along this crease just fold the corner over and depending upon the thickness of your paper and how well you set the creases this may or may not come to an exact point in theory it should come to an exact point but as you can see mine does not and that's okay Again, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just fold this here. And then we're going to take the point that we just made and we're going to fold it down to this crease here. And of course, we're going to do the same thing on this side where we take this point and we fold it down to this crease along the center line as much as possible. Okay, then we turn it over, you will see the heart. And this is why it's good to have a paper that has a, a different design on the front and back. While this is the same color because one side has the velour and one side is just the paper, it makes a nice contrast. Alright, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this flap in right at this corner. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to fold along, making a 90 degree corner there. And while it's tempting to line this up with this flap, chances are, uh, because of the thickness of the paper, that is not the angle you really want. So once you set this corner gently bring it down here and then you're gonna see that it won't line up exactly here what you want is this to be even so use it making sure that this comes to a point here you're gonna shift this until this edge lines up with this edge so chances are you're going to have a, a gap here. Those don't line up exactly. And that's fine. So again, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Using this corner as the pivot, we set that corner and gently roll this. And then we shift until the bottom lines up and this is still at the nice point and we can set that crease now to make it open 
easier. It's nice to turn to the back side and push this part in so you can fold the heart up like this. It's just a simple, just encouraging the card to open nicely. And now we can take this bottom part and we're going to fold it up into, into the envelope meeting this crease. Now you won't be able to open this up all the way because of these. So uh, you want to not push down too hard here otherwise you put creases in the front of the heart. Just go ahead and roll this into the envelope lining up the sides and this is where you're going to find out if you made your folds even because you may or may find a little uh, unevenness here but generally it'll be slight and nobody will really notice that much all right and set that crease and now you have finished the origami part of the envelope a nice heart envelope that opens up um, and this is where that now you can get into the creativity of uh, embellishing or finishing the envelope one of the first things I like to do once I've done this is put a piece of velcro here to close the envelope so I go ahead and pull out some velcro I have this nice velcro which is clear uh, so that it doesn't uh, show up as much but you can use of course any velcro that you want um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square of velcro and I'm going to uh, place it underneath so it'll go right here and this is one of the reasons why I actually make the that center crease fold because when I open this I can see where the center is and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this square and put it diamond like this almost to the bottom edge I'm not going to go all the way down but pretty close so lining this end and this end up with that center crease like that all right and then I take the other half of the velcro enclosure and set it on the piece I just put down so that way I can push this down onto the velcro and now I have a velcro closure for my envelope and to finish off the envelope, uh, you have a lot of options. Uh, one, one interesting thing about folding this from an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper is that the final size is perfect for money. So if you want to give somebody money, that's a great way to do it. Um, you can, for Valentine's Day, of course, you can use red. Uh, I have a black velour that looks really nice. Uh, if you want to give somebody money for a wedding, you can use a white a nice piece of white paper and decorate it with some nice uh, ribbon. Um, a few other ideas for you to finish the envelope is say you have something more uh, creative than just money that you want to give someone. Say you have uh, tickets to a show. Open that up. Of course depending upon the size of your ticket, in this case that ticket fits very nicely inside there, but I want to do something more than just that. So what I've done is I've printed out a poem on a piece of paper and cut it so it's just slightly smaller than the width of the envelope. And then I folded it up so that it fits nicely on this flap. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the back of this page to the envelope and what that's going to do also is when I close this is going to turn this into a nice pocket for whatever it is that I want to put in there so I carefully line this up 
just below the crease. And I make it and I fold it so um, it just leaves a little bit showing of the envelope so it doesn't overlap so that I can close it like this. And of course, you can also decorate the front. Um, sometimes uh, you can use uh, stickers. Uh, you can put somebody's name on it. Um, you have all sorts of embellishing options. Arts can go there. I'll leave most of that up to your imagination. Uh, sometimes, though, I do like to put a little something here and here to really emphasize the heart. The backside of the paper here and here helps uh, define the shape as well. But as you can see, uh, it's fairly noticeable uh, as is. So in this case, you open it up. You would have, in this case, the ticket that uh, I'm giving as a gift. And you have the poem. So this makes a very nice uh, Valentine's envelope or why limit yourself to Valentine's Day? Anytime you want to show someone your appreciation. So uh, good luck with this.